beautiful day. Today's video is brought to you by Fabric by Gerber Life because if you're gonna go big, then you wanna make sure you're leaving something for those you leave behind if you go too big. <laughs> Fabric by Gerber Life was designed by parents for parents to help you get a surprisingly affordable, high quality term life insurance policy in less than 10 minutes. So with Fabric, you could go from start to covered in less than 10 minutes with no health exam required. And they're not kidding when it's fast. I could literally take my gloves off out here in the cold, sitting on the ski slope, get my phone out and apply before my fingers were too cold and I'd want to put the gloves back on. But I don't have to because I already took care of this knowing that I wanted to have a million dollars worth of coverage should something happen to my kids and it's cost me less than a dollar a day to make sure that there's gonna be something there for them should something happens to me. So join thousands of parents who trust Fabric to protect their family. Apply in just minutes at meetfabric.com slash Fowler. So check it out, go to meetfabric dot com slash fowler m-e-e-t fabric dot com slash fowler All right, we are on the ice. This has been something I've wanted to do for a while. There's a couple of the people already out here. Toboggan race is tomorrow. So the boys and I are gonna come down here. You can see that on the Fowler Extra channel. We're gonna do a video. We got a whole sled and orange tuxedos. Gonna have some fun with that. So you can check out that video there. But uh, we got a fish to catch. I'm gonna tie a little rope to this. Got my minimal gear in my pack basket. We're gonna drag it around. See if we can catch a brown trout. They stocked, uh, I think they said like 100 brown trout in here. So I'm like, wicked stoke to see if we can't catch ourselves a brown trout today. There we go. We are on the ice, we're fishing. And uh, now we just gotta figure out where the trout is. I really want that brown trout. Well, we got a brook trout before. So let's drill some more holes, get the rest of them set, get the jig board in, and then maybe I'll punch a couple more holes, walk around and uh, just jig a little bit in different spots that I believe they're successful. I'm down on the far end of the pond away from all the toboggan race stuff because that's kind of loud. Now this lake's kind of not super deep so the trout could be anywhere and they're mostly stockfish and holdover stockfish. We really want that brown trout though. It's one of my goals this year to see how many I can knock out of different species from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. Always showing up at a place to target something and catch what I target. So whenever I do a video, that's what I'm going for is something different like today's snowboarding. Catch and cook, I got the little pan in here and I got a little, got a little solo stove inside of a thing with an alcohol burner and we're gonna cook on the mini solo stove our fish on the back side of the snowboard, keep it simple, a little butter, a little, uh, some of the uh, Ace's first cast seasoning. And, uh, but we're not gonna catch a fish, we just keep talking about it. Let's punch some more holes, see what we can find. I gotta get a flag. Oh yeah, ah! Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, <laughs> I've only been here three seconds. 
I've only been here for like three seconds. Punch the first hole, turn around, talk to you guys. Boom, flag. It's not our targeted fish, but uh, it is a beautiful, smaller brookie. Perfect. Beautiful brookie. Yeehaw. That, <laughs> that is so wild. I can't believe it. Just after a couple seconds. Like, what a beautiful fish. Nice. I am stoked about that. <laughs> Well, I guess we picked the right spot right off the get-go. I probably I'm gonna keep that first one because I'm ready to make my lunch with that. If we don't catch a brown, we'll uh, yeah, let everything else go. But that that's just so perfect. That's insane. Let's uh, like I said, let's set some more and have some more fun, and then maybe I'll say make I'll make some lunch. I'm hungry. Shiners for the win. Nice little shiner. Put a little bigger one on. I put a small one on to ensure that I get something. But uh, this time, we'll go bigger. Maybe we'll catch a bigger fish. I got a feeling. Got a feeling. It's gonna be a good, good day. Ah, I didn't even have to sing the fish song yet. I already caught one. Yeehaw. Hot out here. Getting hot out here. Take off some of your layers. Getting so hot. I'm gonna take my layers off. Try some of the jigging. Try some of our new wigglers here. I'm gonna try a pink one. First time I ever caught something in this pond was literally on something just like this. That's kind of what inspired this color and this style. It was a brown trout on a little wiggler with a small jig head. And uh, I was just like, I was so new at it as far as, you know, catching trout that weren't rainbow trout like I did in Vermont growing up that uh getting back into the outdoors years and years ago probably 20 years ago you know that uh I, I didn't know it was a brown trout but uh i was like i can't believe i caught it on a soft plastic i thought i was just gonna catch a bass or something we got our trout and we moved the traps over here i moved back over to this rock i walked by earlier it's kind of a nice little place it was getting breezy here, but now it stopped. So now I'm covered in this area. I'll set up right here with our cooking stuff and uh, cook it up. A little solo stove. And I'll sit that right there. So take this. I, I used this once before. Well, not the alcohol burner, but the uh, mini solo stove. It can take sticks or pellets I don't have the pellet insert I gave that to ace because I gave him one of these I wonder if I could start it with my necklace there we go let's see if this will work this might be a bad idea yep it does light it alcohol <laughs> that could have that almost became a beardly Bad beardly accident there. My eyebrows! My beautiful eyebrows! So today is February 1st, and I've caught a uh, couple, three brook trout now, um, a bass, nothing special, that little one, and a yellow perch, a white perch, and a chain pickerel. Now, I want that brown trout, and it's still not dark. It is pretty overcast. It's still got about an hour before sunset so oh that's hot don't grab that camp pan got our fish i think i'm gonna sniff it out before i'm ready i shouldn't have lit it i don't want to use up comes a little top so you, with a cool little adjuster that you can like set it for lower heats and stuff and then you put that on just like a candle thing and put it out which is not working so well right now because I've made such a mess of banging it around. 
because now I've spilt it and it's down inside that. There's so much alcohol spilt down inside of there, it's just burning up through and that thing didn't cover it. You only want it burning inside of that little tin, not through your whole unit and popping out the side. So be warned, uh, make sure you have a flat surface before you start messing with this. I screwed that up a little bit. There we go. I put it out to cook. I think I grabbed my dullest one of these that uh, I don't usually use. Don't bring the dull one. Sharpen it. Just do it with a Swiss Army knife. What's this doing for sharp? Could be sharper. <gasps> All right, we got stripped. We got stripped. <sighs> no fishy, but I reset it. So that's hopeful, that last bite of the night. All right, that is cooled off. Let's try to do this the right way. Re refill it instead of spilling it. You know what? Honestly, I don't even know if this is alcohol. It says Fuel Bottle 101. I found this when I bought my house. It smells like an alcohol, like uh, like rubbing alcohol. So I'm guessing this is like somebody's cooking fuel. Like this, this camping cook fuel stuff, I've never really done, you know, much of. So I'm just kind of making it up. All right, put that back in there. And before I light it, make sure she's flat as possible. All right, that's ready. Now, sharpen up our knife. Just in time for dinner and a night bite, or a four o'clock peak time. Catch that brown trout while we're having our dinner. There we go. Throw her right in the pan with some butter. Simple as can be. Delicious. Oh, I made a mess of this. Not too bad. I wish, there we go, I wish I could design my own Swiss Army knife and just have it made, right? Like a Swiss Army knife with a small panfish fillet blade and a, let's see, what else would I want? A small saw so I can make slingshots when I'm outside and little wooden slingshots. Pretty much everything the Huntsman has is what I use. This was one that they had sent me that had my logo on it and they're like, do you want us to use and make them for you? But the like logo lasted like a week and it rubbed off and I lost my regular Huntsman. And so I've been using this one for a long time now. And I don't go anywhere without my Swiss Army knife. Let's see if I can do it without knocking the uh, fuel everywhere this time. Just a little, little spark. There we go. That's better. Now it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Throw that on there. For a little bit of the yelled mushroom coffee I subscribe to. Uh, that's what I drink in the afternoon sometimes. Instead of getting back into the coffee so it doesn't keep me up, but it gives you a good bit of energy. So you gotta be careful. It's only half calf, but it gets you so jazzed. And the, I don't know what it is. And then uh, butter. And Ace's first cast. Just a chunk of that right in the pan. Get that on. Just gonna throw it in there all wrinkly.
Yeah. Better find ourselves some chopsticks. Cooking up quick. There we go. Shriveled right up to fit in the pan just perfectly. <laughs> well, this turned out pretty darn perfectly. I snowboarded all through high school working at Killington. It was such a beautiful place. I miss Killington. And uh, the Snow Bowl, it's pretty cool here in Camden, Maine. But it's so tiny, and the big jumps that were there at Killington, oh, I loved them. There's this big giant platform and three kickers that were there. And then you'd go one that was like 15 feet from this giant platform with a big landing ramp on the backside. They'd plow it all up, and the jump was like 10 foot by, by like five feet high. And you go blasting off of that, and you can go like 10 feet or so, and then you land. And there's another one back that was like 20 feet or something. Another one back was like 30 feet, and then I'd go diagonally across the whole mess and just pull like a huge shifty mute grab. I was never huge on like uh, 360s. I could, I never worked up the nerve for it or something. I don't know, um, but I do my job up there at the mountain. I'd be um, working in the kitchen on the peak lodge, and and they'd get uh, to the point where they could send some people home, and they'd be like, "Who wants to go home?" And I wouldn't say a thing. I'd just keep working hard. And they'd be like, Zach, do you want to go? Because everybody else there kind of slacked. And, you know, they were like, yeah, I want to get out of here. I hate my job. But I worked so, so hard. Just as hard as I possibly could. And it, it showed. And they appreciated it. So they would always send me home. And uh, if I, and because I totally wanted to go snowboarding for the day. And uh, only like two people would get picked to leave early. To work a few hours and then be able to get out of there and spend the rest of the day like two or three hours snowboarding in the afternoon every day was so cool i think i like cooking on the this little thing with the pellets so much better it was a nice hot burn it didn't come up and around the the pan the alcohol is pretty convenient for one quick thing if you're going to do a little teapot i think on there i'd say the alcohol for one cup of tea or one cup of coffee is like the bomb. But, because it's all sealed up, you don't have to worry about getting the pellets going and then, but if you're gonna cook on this little thing camp-wise, I think pellets. Maybe I'm missing something and I'm getting it wrong, but. There we go. We are done with that. A little bit of the old First cast. This stuff is so good. Mmm. Try to make a little cup of coffee before all the alcohol in the alcohol burner is gone. Oh, there's ice in that. Hmm. Maybe I have the wrong substance. I don't know. Leave it in the comments below if you've used one of these before. Is it me? Did I do something wrong? I'm, I'm having a feeling like it is. Like... Like I used uh, something far more flammable. Like I used a, a liquid butane or something foolish. Well, we are done with our food. A little wild on the ice, catch and cook. Just keep, if it looks weird, I'm like looking, checking my traps. Still want that brown trout. Lord, thank you though for the brook trout. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for a beautiful, beautiful brook trout and a beautiful afternoon snowboarding and, and just having fun and all that went into this. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's see. That is delish. Nice little bits of it. Mm. That is so different from the trout rangoons. You can see, 
the meat too. It's completely different. That other one was super, super orange and stuff. And this is like 100% just white as all get out. I wonder if it, it's the different lake or if it reddens up as time goes on or what it is. And this one was a freshly stocked this late fall or something. I don't know. It tastes phenomenal though. Tastes like success. I am gonna sleep. I am gonna sleep good tonight. There's only one piece left. That disappeared so quick. And I worked up a good appetite. So I can have a nice, enjoyable cup of this mushroom coffee stuff. I am living high off the hog today, boys and girls. Where else can you go and snowboard down to a lake and catch and cook a trout on the lake? Uh, technically, I'm sitting on a rock in the middle of the lake. Not on the shore, there's a little island thing, but pretty darn sweet. Well, I think that about does it for us. If I catch another fish, I'll let you know. But otherwise, I guess that's the end of the video. Just a little short one, a little fun, quick little adventure. One day in Maine, off uh, from the slopes to the ice, to the gut. Is that right? That sounds weird. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Fowler out. <laughs> Oh, big old bass. That's nice. Jeez. A good one. He likes the wiggler. He likes the wiggler. Look at that. Then I just stop off at the middle on the way home and just see what's going on here in the middle of the lake. We got a nice sized bass. Beautiful, clean fish. We'll let him go. Somebody else to catch. Goodbye. Thanks for playing. My stunt double Dalton here. Thank you, sir, very much. All the cool stuff was done by him. Is that good? Hair's not sticking out? Perfect. Look just like him. You never know that we're we're not twins. We we had him wear my jacket. I, I didn't uh we thought we there's gonna be a huge kicker or something up here that we could get some big air and I'm gonna just not that guy anymore not since high school and uh so he was gonna do it for me in the end that was just this little baby park baby and, yeah <laughs> but we managed to have some fun and for the day and uh got some cool shots for you guys and uh the rest of the regular snowboarding stuff coming down the hill that was me and uh yeehaw. oh he's being modest he's <laughs> he was slanging him around yeah we we're having fun we we're having fun just not i'm not popping anything or hitting those uh metal rails this glass <laughs> i had so much fun and, and we have the same, same board. board. Same like how, we didn't plan this. Nope. We just showed up with the same boards here for somehow. So, yeah. I secretly knew. Yeah, you see. I secretly knew. <laughs> I saw it one time. I didn't want to yeah. tell him, but yeah. I had to do it. Thank you, sir. No problem, hey. man. Thanks. Hey, thank you. We'll again, have to Zach. just ride again another time. Yeah, huh? leave the cameras Let's at home. Yeah, we'll yeah. Cruise. Just get some big. Yeah. I mean, if they build some jumps, then maybe I get. We'll, we'll build our own jumps. Build our own jumps. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. We don't need help. Bring trouble. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Hope you've enjoyed it. Fowler, out. Great.